I'm about to show you something that's somehow going to be even more fun than me yelling about engineers. Because, um, because guess what? Alex Jones is not just fucked, but Alex Jones is extra, super, mega fucked, okay? And I mean, like, turbo fucked, okay? So for those of you who don't know, Alex Jones is in a boatload of shit. You know Alex Jones, the guy who talks like this, and he goes, the goblins, the go the Democrat, the demon rats, they're, Hillary Clinton is sending out an army of satanic goblins, and these goblins are going to crawl into your house, and they're going to have anal sex with you to turn you into a hypnotized femboy. That is Hillary Clinton's agenda. You understand? Do you understand me? That is the agenda of the Democrats. They are going to send the force feminizing goblins into your house, they are going to climb into your butts, they are going to to force feminize you, you will look like a femboy. Do you understand? I don't care if you're a man, a woman, or whatever else is out there. I can't remember how many genders there are these days, but those goblins are coming for me, and you're going to be a femboy. Sorry. I, sorry. I lost myself there for a second. <clears throat> I lost myself there for a second. I'm very sorry. Alex Jones, that guy, you know, Infowars, you know, the guy who was, you know, reporting from a right-wing perspective at Waco, um, you know, that kind of stuff. I know, I know, I know. Some of you, that was probably very arousing because the thought of a goblin crawling up your butt will make you turned on. I'm sorry. Once again, I, I apologize for those of you goblin fetishists out there. I get it. Goblins are very hot. I'm a big fan of goblins. Don't usually want them climbing up my butt, but that's okay. All right? <sighs> Alex Jones has, uh, over the years, been a, a sort of uh, recurring nightmarish meme and what i mean by that is that uh the dude is absolutely balls to the walls uh, a lying piece of shit in basically every way you can imagine he just does conspiracy theory con content constantly he hawks very questionable quality uh nutritional supplements to his audience and propagates hate all over the country from one of the biggest conspiracy platforms in the world and also, it turns out that Alex Jones spent um, just about the last uh, decade or so um, uh, spreading blatant misinformation about the fact that the Sandy Hook school shooting, which resulted in the deaths of, um, I think, about a dozen children, if I remember correctly. I, I, I don't have all the details right in front of me. Um, let me just make sure I got this. I want to get these details correct. Uh, sorry, 26 people, 20 children, uh, were between the ages of six and seven years old, and then six adults, okay? So that was the event. Uh, Alex Jones has spent the last, uh, you know, uh, what, let's see, that happened in 2012? So yeah, the last literal decade, claiming that that was a hoax, and that all of the parents who lost their children there were paid crisis actors. And as it turns out, some chickens have come home to roost for Mr. Alex Jones. Um, yeah, uh, Alex Jones is, uh, uh, Alex Jones is, uh, is in a heap of trouble because um, even though he was able to weather criminal lawsuits, he has uh, now lost one, and potentially we will find out a little bit later today, two so far civil lawsuits which will which find him liable for damage for severe damages i'm talking damages in the order of millions the amount of harassment um and and personal endangerment that his platform uh inflicted on the survivors um and the parents of the victims at sandy hook has been uh massive and as it turns out juries and judges are agreeing with the victims and arguing that his defense of free speech is bullshit because he was knowingly lying. Now, today we were given a, a, a particularly special treat because today one of uh, the lawsuits brought against him, one of the civil cases brought against Alex Jones was live streamed and we got to see it. So for those of you who didn't catch it, we're going to go through right now and see some of the best moments. Because uh, today, um, the judge declared that he was indeed liable. Now, there still has to be, there's still a jury process as I understand it. So I'm not 100% sure if, um, if uh, uh, 
Oh, actually, oh, it looks like as of three hours ago, he fully conceded that the Sandy Hook attack was 100% real. So yeah, it looks like he's in a lot of trouble. So what I wanted to show you today was some of the best moments, because uh, let me tell you, we get to see in fucking real time this man's fucking brain explode, okay? Uh, if you can believe it, uh, his lawyer accidentally sent all of his texts from the last three years to the def to, to the plaintiffs of the case. I'm not I'm not kidding you. Literally all of his texts for the last three years. And if that sounds um, interesting, let me tell you what else. The January 6th commission has subpoenaed those exact records. So not only was he shown for an ass live in court, unbeknownst to him, because he didn't realize that those texts had been sent to the opposition, but also the federal government has already jumped on it. So when I say that Alex Jones is in a fucking uh-oh stinky position, he's in a uh-oh stinky position. Alex Jones is in big motherfucking trouble. So you might go, oh, well, you know, okay, so how surprised could he be? Well, I want you to think about this. This is a guy who's been dodging by, by a hair going to prison. This is a guy who has been dodging by a hair on the thinnest defenses you could possibly imagine any sort of criminal case. And now all of his texts for the last three years, including his texts around January 6th, have been made available to the feds. And he found that that part out in real fucking time. So, without any further ado, let's fucking tune in, shall we? Here, let me get the one with the context, okay? Here we go. A couple of minutes lead up to the point where he really starts, the, yeah, here we go. And by the way, giant shout out to uh, to my, my team researcher and our lead mod, Silent. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we are gonna watch a good chunk of this little trial together because let me tell you this is does he cry i don't want to spoil okay let me just say this is going to go down in history as one of the most legendary reveals possible okay let's watch the things you all, uh, did say though that were quoted from you that you wanted to repeat to your audience because they had done such a good job of oh that audio might be a little too loud let me turn that down all right here we go covering you was also that the police were eating their food inside of the school in the crime scene, right? You remember that? I don't remember. All right, you don't remember what we just watched 10 minutes ago? I missed that part. Okay. Do you remember them talking about the FBI crime stats saying no one killed in Sandy Hook that you read in that 2017? That was the headlines, yes. What headlines? So, um, what you're seeing right now, what we're looking at right now, is uh, is the opposition is presenting some of the evidence and at this point in time we have not yet gotten to the point where the texts were revealed they are operating with evidence that he was expecting to have to deal with at this point in time so you can hear in his voice uh oh yeah you know he's kind of in his defensive position this is before a left turn occurs so ride with me for a few minutes your headline that but that, that's what it said no it didn't mr jones you admit that now the FBI did not have a crime stat. I mean, I admit we later learned that in the full report, they don't report those in that state. That they do, I think, everywhere else. Mr. Jones, we've heard a lot of testimony about the FBI crime stat and how that got wrong. We heard that from Mr. Salazar. Were you in the courtroom for that? I think I was in there for part of it. Okay. So you probably heard Mr. Salazar how he messed that up, right? I mean, I think we admit we messed that up. Right, but you were still saying it in 2017. At a time where you want this jury to believe you were saying it really happened, you in 2017 were saying the FBI says nobody died. I said it on the video. I thought it happened like five times. Yeah, just like Megyn Kelly said in your interview, you want to have it all waged, don't you, Mr. Jones? No, I think Sandy Hook happened. Yeah, but if Sandy Hook happened, then that means there's not an FBI crime stat where nobody died. It means that there was website traffic. It means that nobody ate their food inside the school. All these things. So right now, what they're getting him on is that he was publishing after, after 
he was proven incorrect that he continued to publish on his website and personally. And he kept pushing the idea that Sandy Hook was fake based on false information, information that did not exist. He was telling people that the FBI reported there were no deaths, okay? So he was lying. That is what he's being exposed on right now. And you're gonna see where it goes. Things you're saying are false, right? I, I'd have to review all of it again. You, 10 minutes ago, we saw a video of you saying no EMTs entered the building. Do you remember that? You remember saying that? Oh, I mean, I, I'd have to see the timelines of what you're speaking about. <coughs> I'm asking you if when we broke from your break, when your attorney put up the video that he really wanted this jury to see how fair you were being about Sandy Hook, you said no paramedics entered the building. <coughs> now you can start seeing he's starting to get a little nervous here. Right? In, in, in a certain time frame. What do you mean by that? I'd have to see the, the, the time frame you're talking about. What do you mean time frame? You said they never entered the building. Never entered it? That's what you said. Well, and you said that for years. I, I, I think you're taking it out of context. Right, because they had to keep them out of the building, because otherwise you'd have to pay off all the EMTs, because they'd get in the building and they'd see there's no bodies. That's what you told your audience. You've told them that many times. <coughs> I don't remember what you're talking about. Sure. One of the things you talked about yesterday is you complied with discovery, right? <coughs> you said that on the witness stand? That's one of the things I talked about. Okay. One of the things that you were ordered to do in this lawsuit. Mm. You were Some ordered closely, everybody. to turn over any text messages mentioning Sandy Hook, right? Yes. And you didn't have it. So, so the opposition has said you were ordered to turn over any texts related to Sandy Hook, okay? Watch. Right? Not that we could find. And, and you, in fact, told me, in, in your testimony, sworn testimony before coming to this courtroom, you searched, right? I did. Okay. Do you remember, were you here for Mr. Schroyer's testimony? <coughs> yes. Okay. You remember what Owen said, the company has learned from its mistakes about Sandy Hook. You remember that? Oh, I did hear him say that. You agree with that? Yeah, we've certainly learned from our mistakes kind of a lot better. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Jones, I'd like to show you what's been marked as plaintiff's exhibit 130. You've got it upside down. Sorry, no, sorry, you've uh, you've got it upside down there. Oh, that's text messages between you and Paul Watson, isn't it? Yes. And they mention Sandy Hook, don't they? Yes. Plaintiff's oh, one. right there, there it is. This is the moment. I want you to watch this chat. Ready? Boop, 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 boop. Watch his face. Watch his face as they re as he realizes they actually do have the text messages. Yes. Plaintiff's move 130 in total. Oh, oh no! That is the look of a man who is shitting his pants. Look at this. This man is fucking shitting himself. There is- his underpants have been painted fucking brown. Okay? Right here, the moment, the moment he realizes they weren't bluffing and they do have the texts. Any objection? Oh, there you hear it. The judge admitted the evidence. Oh, 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 here they go. Now they got the texts that he said didn't exist, that do exist, and that his lawyer accidentally sent to the uh to the uh the plaintiffs in this case right on the screen that he was just 10 seconds ago lying about <clears throat> let's zoom in on a little article up in the corner please.
I'm gonna walk over to this to you so we can kind of point it. I know it's a little hard to read. Oh no! Oh no! They're doing. Oh, they're they're using dirty, dirty debate tactics. They've got his article up here with the date on it, and over here they have his texts up with the date on them. This is a fucking. This is a fucking dirty streamer tactic right here. Uh, Capo, we will talk about that afterwards. It's actually more interesting than you can imagine. Was it definitely by accident, and wouldn't they have to tell him they had they had them in discovery? They did. I'll tell you. Be able to read a little better on your screen. But this is a zoom of, of Mr. Watson has sent you a screenshot from Infowars.com, correct? <coughs> it appears to be. Yeah, and it has an article here, right? Yeah. And it says, staged. Video shows hospital using dummies in ER for coronavirus footage. Okay, says? I believe so. Alex Jones, do you need to go to the fucking hospital, bro? Bro, he's turning fucking red. This is redder than he ever gets in his rants. And we've seen a lot of, of we've seen a lot of jokes. He's fucking redder than my backdrop right now. This motherfucker's a fucking Bob the Tomato. He looks like the fucking Keck D. The first message from Mr. Watson. How many, how, he's drank in three cups of water since we started watching this. It's been... Less than, what, like a minute of footage and he's drank three cups of waters? Read along with me, Mr. Jones. He says, this is a video. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, one second. No problem, take your time. Oh. Oh, boy. You ready? Uh, yeah, this, he may not think it's a problem, but it's a real one. Sure. Just give me a second. <laughs> okay, okay, saying that your cough definitely isn't fake when you're coughing over all of the audio, that is one. That is the worst thing you can do. It's literally like, oh my god, it's that moment. Have you y'all ever seen that moment of uh, of Always Sunny? Uh, uh, hold on. It's the one where he's the. Uh, it's the one where Frank. Um, let me see. Let me get the image. It's this. This is the one. It's right here. This is the one. Fucking right here. This is it. This is what he looks like right now. The one where Frank is trying to prove that he's not a kid diddler. And he's just like, I am not. I don't diddle kids. I don't diddle kids. I don't diddle kids. That one? That's, that is, is this not exactly what's happening? No, I'm sorry, you, uh, you may think I'm faking this cough, but I'm, I'm telling you, it's real. I'm not freaking out. I'm, do not write in the paper that I'm freaking out. Yeah, here you go, here you go. I didn't realize it was even a conversation. I always assumed we would be heavily involved. Oh, yeah, this is, this is this is the bit right here. Uh, we got to definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. Right there. That's the fucking one. We got to write a song about how we don't diddle kids. We got to write a song about how I'm not fucked. <coughs> oh, all right, go ahead. Mr. Watson says, this is a video of a medical student trained to intubate. Makes us look ridiculous, suggest- <laughs> I'm sorry, let me just- let me just recount that. The first text that they show is Paul Joseph Watson telling Alex Jones that their- that- that their- their uh, front page article makes them look stupid. Holy shit, e oh my god, man, oh fuck. Paul, Paul Joseph Watson right now must feel so like fucking vindicated in this moment. He must be he must have been sweating so bad that he was gonna get in trouble. And the first one that comes up was Paul Joseph Watson actually going, "Bro, we probably need to pump the brakes." Holy shit! I know the lowest bar. Oh my fucking god. This means COVID is fake. Sandy Hook all over again. <laughs> He sees this text and he knows he's fucked. He's fucking, this is the, oh, guy, it's so perfect. It's, oh my God, I can't handle it. I can't fucking do it. Look at this shit. Look at this guy's motherfucking face. He's like, oh shit, they got me, bro. I'm fucked. Read that correctly? Yes. Here's the next message. <clears throat> <laughs> What'd you tell Mr. Watson? 
I get it. Mr. Jones, it's true that this article is right now live on Infowars.com. I can pull it up, right? No, he never even took down the article. Oh, I didn't even know that part. He did the live article is still live. That's gonna open him up to another lawsuit. Oh my fucking god! Not a, he. So he knows in this moment. I just let's just. Can I just take a second? I gotta take a second, okay? I want you guys to just enter into the mind of Alex Jones. In the last thirty seconds, he found out not only is this case fucked, and all of the other Sandy Hook cases are now fucked. Any person from Sandy Hook who sues him will have access to this information, which proves that he was fucking lying. Secondly, it also opens him up to coronavirus hoax lawsuits and the federal government investigation of the January 6th. In this moment, he knows he is triplicately fucked. All of the brain force in his body just blasted out of his asshole and is currently burning a hole in the rug. Okay? I am just telling you, this is a rare moment. We never get to see this level of schadenfreude live. Okay? Holy fucking shit. This is a guy realizing that his career is fucking done. He's done. There's nowhere you can go from here. Getting three-way fucked live and every single fucking political show in the world is covering this. Fucked. I've never seen this text message. I guess you guys got Paul's. My phone didn't save them. So my phone didn't save him. I guess you must have gotten Paul's. He still doesn't know. He hasn't figured it out yet. Fine, Your me. phone didn't save the second. I told you guys I gave it to the I, I gave it to the lawyers and said they drank. Right now he's saying we gave you everything. You must have gotten Paul's. You must. He's trying to save face for the camera. The Watch phone, this. I don't know how my phone. Give it to the lawyers. They were supposed to find this. That's what, that's what testimony is? No, I searched it as well. I mean, so you, I, I, we, you guys have all this stuff and you say we didn't give you anything. It's Mr. ridiculous. Mr. Jones, you know how an iPhone works, right? You've had iPhone text messaging for several years now. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the face of this, this, this judge has an, is an absolute champ for keeping straight faced, okay? What does it mean if the messages are in blue? Whose messages are those? Whose phone is this taken from? I don't know whose phone's taken from. I mean, I just, I turned the phone over and said, take stuff off. Can I have you look in the very bottom below the very bottom left corner? Is that your phone number? Yes. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no, no, no. So you did get my text messages. And it said you did. Nice trick. <laughs> yes, Mr. Jones. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to hear that again. Please listen closely, my lovely imps. Please listen to this. Nice trick. <laughs> yes, Mr. Jones. Oh. <laughs> Nice, nice, tr nice trick, everybody. You did a great trick. You got, you, 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 you got the stuff I gave you. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that, Mr. Jones? Fucking ace, fucking ace, uh, uh, fucking Phoenix Wright ace attorney at law. Fucking holy shit. Oh, yes. Don't you worry. This is going to be an upload. You know this shit's going up. We're getting this shit up ASAP. This is the best fucking shit around. Gold. Fucking gold to see this piece of shit fucking slapped in the face. Us finally, for once in his goddamn life, having to have a taste of what it feels like to have justice. To have fairness. Paying a consequence for your fucking actions. Indeed. You didn't give this text message to me. You don't, you don't know where this came from. Do you know where I got this? No. Watch this, everybody. Are you ready for the crowning moment? Let's fucking do it. Mr. Jones, did you know that 12 days ago, 12 days ago, your attorneys messed up and sent me an entire digital copy 
of your entire cell phone with every text message you've sent for the past two years, and when informed, did not take any steps to identify it as privileged or protected it in any way. And as of two days ago, it fell free and clear into my possession. And that is how I know you lied to me when you said you didn't have text messages about saying you voted. Did you know that? I... Oh, no! What's that? Is it perjury as well? It looks like it's perjury as well! Oh, no! Oh, no, no! And did you see that? I love the lawyer. I love the lawyer down here. Just sitting here like, oh my as god, two days I, ago, I fucked up so bad. You can't, I wish we could see the lawyer's face. I wish there was a camera giving us the lawyer's fucking face when he goes, oh no, I wasn't supposed to send him the whole fucking thing. So, yes, let me just make, make it clear because I've gone and done some extra reading on top of watching this live, which is the best thing to see ever. Yes, they were accidentally sent the entire record of his phone history. Accidentally. The, the opposition responded and said, because it's required that if there's an, an error like that, they have to inform them. They informed them, the lawyer didn't respond, which meant they were able to use it. And now this, a multiple legal bodies have access to the last two to three years of Alex Jones entire private phone history. Is there a chance this could be a mistrial? No, because the, the opposition did the right step. They informed them and they didn't take action. Nothing. They didn't. They law. They fucked up. They're fucked. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about this. Fell free and clear into my possession, and that is how I know you lied to me when you said you didn't have text messages about saying you voted. Did you know that? Oh no. The look of fear on this man's face. When it all comes fucking crashing, fucking down. Oh, I'm dying. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. How could I? It, it doesn't get more beautiful than this. Okay. We get to see the moment that Alex Jones fucking drops, essentially, metaphorically drops dead live on fucking TV. I see. I told you the truth. This is your Perry Mason moment. I gave them my phone, and then Mr. Jones, you need to answer the question. No, I, Did you I, know I this happened? Oh no! The judge knows that there's no more room for bullshit, Mr. Jones. You need to answer the question. No, I didn't know this happened. But I mean, I told you. I gave him the phone over. Does this look like a man who's telling the truth, Chat? My lovely Chat. Does this look like a truth-telling man? I don't think it. I don't think so. The just and you the said, question. you said in your deposition, you searched your phone. You said you pulled down the text, did the search function for Sandy Hook. We just watched him say that. We watched him confess to that live. He said, I searched it. And now we know that he not only lied about searching his phone, he not only lied about about act, about like trying to pull stuff about Sandy Hook, but he's been lying this whole time, the entire time, the, the opposition legal team has been sitting there letting him fucking dig himself deeper and deeper and deeper with all of the lies. And they had the truth right there for this fucking moment. That's what you said, Mr. Jones, correct? And I had several, several different phones with this number, but I did, yeah. Well, of course, I mean, that's why you got it. No, Mr. Jones, that's not why I have it. My lawyer sent it to you, but I'm hiding it. Okay. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones. I'm sorry to see Alex Jones be like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm lying though, but but I'm a liar though. Like he's some kind of like like he's in a fucking TikTok beef with a TikTok influencer. You you're gonna call me a liar? You have my text that I just lied about, but you're calling me a liar. You you're a lawyer and you're calling me a liar. Uh, oh my god. Oh oh, I can't even believe it. I can't fucking believe it.
Holy shit, this guy, he has nothing. He has no fucking clue. He's floundering like crazy. I love it. Please just answer questions. There's no question. Mr. Bankston also only asked questions. Sure. Mr. Jones, in discovery, you were asked, do you have Sandy Hook text messages on your phone? And you said no, correct? You said that under oath. Answer carefully. Answer carefully, Mr. Jones. If you say no, and there's video evidence of you saying elsewhere, you're even more fucked. But if you say yes, you have just confessed to perjury. No matter what he says here, he is fucked. Fucked, fucked, fucked. I mean, I was mistaken, I was mistaken, but you, you got the messages right there. You know what perjury is, right? I just want to make sure you know before we go any further. You know what it is. You know what perjury is, Mr. Jones. You know what it is before we go any further? Yes, I do. I mean, I'm not a tech guy. I told you I gave, in my testimony, the phone to the lawyers before or whatever, and, and so you got my phone, but we... You also said that you went through it. Big whoopsie! He didn't give it to you. No, Mr. Jones. One more time. And please remember, if you need to assert the Fifth Amendment, you can. I need to know that you can do that. But you testified under oath. <laughs> this lawyer just read him his Miranda rights. <laughs> I just need to remind you, you have the right to remain silent because you are potentially confessing to a crime on live television. Live national television. Previously, that you personally searched your phone for the phrase Sandy Hook and there were no messages. You said that under oath. Yes. And you lied when you said it. No, I did not lie. Emails. You testified yesterday you don't have it. You got rid of your email 10 years ago. InfoWars email. Hello, Alan. This is your lawyer speaking. I am advising you today to keep please posting this shit. It's <laughs> fucking true! Oh, so not simple. You do use email, though, don't you? Not, not... Uh, it's like household stuff and things like that. But uh, so it's I don't personally send emails. Sure. My assistant does. And it's for, like, you know, some broken sprinklers or whatever. Okay. So you don't... He uses the InfoWars email. He uses the InfoWars email for emails about his sprinkler? Do you think he might be, do you think he might be fucking lying even more? Do you think he, you think he might be trying to, to find a way to get to the end of this segment so he can go take a giant fucking wet shit in the bathroom in which all of his guts dump out of his asshole because he's so fucking nervous? This dude is sweating his organs out right now. You don't have emails about Sandy Hook. You don't have emails about this case. You got hundreds of thousands of our emails. None from you. And I didn't get hundreds of thousands of emails. Most of those, in fact, you would agree with me. Nearly every email you've produced to me outside of maybe a hundred are emails of Wolfgang Halberg and Jim Fetzer. Because they sent you thousands of emails, right? I mean, I, I quit opening email and using it before Sandy Hook. Okay. So, you have, in other words, if somebody was to tell me, oh, I have emails from Mr. Jones that he wrote about this case in the past couple of years. Oh, no, 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 it's about to get worse. He just admitted that he stopped using email before Sandy Hook. Oh, no. Here, is that person be lying? You're telling the truth? If somebody else has got my InfoWars email because I haven't been using it all. In, in. That's, that's not qualified, Mr. Jones. You know in this case you were asked to produce your emails, any emails you had about Sandy Hook. You know you were asked to do that, right? Yeah. And you said he didn't have any. I, I told my IT people, go. you've got all that stuff. No, Mr. Jones, I'm saying in deposition, under oath, sworn to God, you said you don't have any emails for saying. <laughs> this guy is roasting him! You know you swore to God, under oath, in a legal court of law, and this guy's about to produce an email that was written by Alex Jones. Well, watch this shit. Fucking emails, watch this. Right? I mean, I... I think I had, I mean, I haven't been using InfoWars email, and it's, it's got to be a decade or, or, or longer in my memory. I with, with InfoWars.com email. No, Mr. Jones. No. 
to not put on Amazon. You notice when, when Mr. Watson emailed you, right? He didn't have an InfoWars email address, does he? He has like Paul Watson at sky.com. It's a UK email address. Did you know yes. that? Right. We asked for all emails. And you told us you don't use email and there are no emails for Sandy Hook. That's what you said. Now he's going pale. He, now, now it's really setting in. First, there was the anxiety. He's going through the fucking five stages of grief right in front of our fucking eyes. This is the part where the blood drains out of your face and you lose organ control. That under oath, isn't it? There might be, uh, I'm sure there might be like privileged emails where like lawyers are requesting documents or stuff about the case. Mr. Jones. Yeah. First, objection, non response. Sustained. Did you testify under oath that you do not use email? and that there are no responsive emails relating to this case. Did you testify to that? Yes, I personally do not get on the internet and sit there and use email. I never send emails myself. Because I don't like it, I can't stand it, there's just too many of them. I'm, I'm, that's, a, that's a fact that I don't use email. I call people on the okay. telephone. Okay. Uh-oh. Are we gonna find out? Are we gonna find out that this fact is patently false? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Objection, my client is too dumb to plead the fifth. Your Honor, uh, my, excuse me, Mr. Jones. I'd like to show you this document. Is that your email address? Yes. Did you write an email? Is that an email, Mr. Jones? Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, the pain. Oh, mm, oh, mm, oh, oh, oh. I could eat it all day. Oh, I could sustain myself off this forever. Mwah. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect. Look at this. Oh! Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So the well, I'm not reading it. This is Have you listened to Knowledge Fights coverage? I haven't. No, I could take a look at it. Oh my god. What's this have to do with Sandy Hook? I'm not asking you a question other than that's an email you sent. That's, let's start there. Can you do that? Can you say that's an email you sent? I must have dictated that to my system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are. You would agree with me. Oh no! Oh no! That's not the defense you think it is, buddy. That's not the fucking de you. Oh God! There are emails. Yeah, little thing. I'm done with that. There are emails that you've sent to your lawyers, your staff, and others concerning your business operations that we requested for Sandy Hook. Other topics that have been requested in this lawsuit, like Zero Hedge, you'd agree those emails, they exist. Do you agree to that or not? Uh, I've dictated emails to people, and you, you guys have gone and gotten other people to give you their emails. You, but that is that is my personal email that I use for personal stuff. It has nothing to do with Sandy Hook unless lawyers have sent me emails there that my assistant prints off for me. You talked yesterday about prepackaged food. You remember that? You know what I'm talking about? No. You don't remember yesterday testifying about selling prepackaged food. Oh, yes. And you sell these, and some of them come in tubs that you could, for instance, like store for a long time in case something horrible happens, right? Yes. Okay. And in fact, you talk about that's one of your big items. That's a big type, big deal type thing on info. Right now, he's going, oh no, what else do they have me on? What else did they find in my emails? Oh my God, did they find out about insert fraud here? <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh God, what's this? What did they get me on? What have they got me on now? Sure. Okay. And you also talked about how it's, it's a tough business in a lot of ways. Because you only have about a 20% profit margin on the sale of food. So about 20 to 40, yes. Okay. So 
For instance, so for every hundred thousand dollars in sales. Yeah, yeah, Rhodes brings up from chat. Notice his 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 cough is all of a sudden better. He's not coughing anymore. Yeah, it looks like it looks like you can't cough your way through this. Food. That means you're profiting twenty thousand dollars, maybe even up to forty thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. I'll show you another document, Mr. Jones. This has been marked as plaintiff's exhibit one thirty two. Do you see that? Yes. Those are text messages of Tim Fruget, the operations manager of InfoWars, right? Yes. And we requested information about your revenues in this case. You remember that? Yes. Didn't give us this, did you? There's a lot of stuff. I mean. Yeah, you didn't even look through your text messages, Mr. Jones. You hit it, right? Correct? No. Okay. I okay. gave it. Oh, my God. For the lawyers, that's why you have it. That's not I mean, this is ridiculous. Plaintiff's Exhibit 132. Are you moving to admit it? Yes, can we, um, um, no, yes, I'm sorry. Can we move to admit Plaintiff's 132 at this time? Any objection? No. Plaintiff's 132 is admitted. Before we put that up, Mr. Jones, I just want to make sure you understand something about these emails. You understand that when your attorney sent me your whole phone, he didn't mean to do that. You understand Objection, that? Your Honor. I just want to make sure this is not discovery. Well, I, I do think it's important that, since we're discussing all of this, that the jury understands discovery is a process that occurs and concludes well before trial. Um, what this is the judge tell this is the judge in as neutral terms as possible, informing everyone that there is no possible way that this is a mistrial. That's what she's saying here. She's saying discovery concludes before the trial and they had time to review and they didn't. They fucked up. They lied. What the lawyers say is an evidence. So we don't know whether it was on accident or on purpose because we don't, we don't have evidence about that. But what we do know is that it wasn't properly turned over when it should have been. What she just said is, well, technically we don't know if the lawyer fucked up, but what we do know is that they didn't give it to us when they were supposed to. That's, that's worse. That's worse. There's no question, Mr. Jones. Yeah. So you need to ask a question that does not cause for speculation um, and even if Mr. Jones does know he would have gotten that information from Mr. Reynald, his attorney and so it would be protected most likely most likely um, Mr. Jones you know what Bates numbers are right we've talked about the main I believe that's these no that's you're talking about an exhibit sticker okay yeah remember we've talked in deposition before that there are Bates numbers on the bottoms of documents that your company produces for this lawsuit, and they start with F S S T X, and then they have a long number after. Them. Okay. No base number on this, is it? But it was. Give, I gave it to the lawyers, like I told you, at the start of this testimony. Mr. Jones, yeah. Mr. Jones, I know it's hard, but I know you can do it. All right. The question. <laughs> I know it's hard, but I know you can fucking. <laughs> satisfying to see fucking serial liars get fucking exposed like this and and they have to it always ends like this for people who are this dishonest it always ends like this it always ends with people literally talking to you like you're a toddler because you're you can't stop lying you can never take the L oh my god there's no base number on this document no, there's not. There? thank you and please don't interrupt me or the lawyers Let's um, well, I imagine it's because he's interrupted a lot. I've seen a lot of clips of this, and he interrupts the judge a lot. This judge is doing her fucking damnedest to try and stay cool when this guy is just lying to everyone's face. Let's go to the last two messages. Can you pull those up? Mr. 
Mr. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Goddess trans girl. What? Fruge. Fruge? Fruge? How do I say his name, Mr. Jones? Fruge. All right, so Mr. Fruge, you would agree with me. Can you give me that? Can I see that? He sends you an update on how much the store has sold, and sometimes he lets you know how much profit you made, right? Yes. Okay, and in this message, he says 110 gross sales in food equates to almost 70K pure profit. Oh my fucking God. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Hold on a second. I got to see this. I didn't see this bit. A comedy moment when the judge just laughs and sighs after reviewing a printout message of herself being burned in effigy. This was created by Alex Jones. His bumbling would be funnier if he hadn't been trying to incite violence against the judge. Oh my fucking God. What is the legal objection? 401, 403. So here's Alex Jones' lawyer trying to object to showing the image. Can I see it, please? Yes, yes you may, Your Honor. <laughs> Plaintiff's 129 is admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. Can we just wait for that? Okay, okay, goddess trans girl. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Thank you. I did not know about this. Thank you so fucking much for that. I missed this bit. This is so fucking amazing. You literally, you literally fucking can't. Oh my god. Oh my god, you can't make this shit up. It's so good. Oh, we've been given a gift, my lovely imps. We've been given a gift. The person on the left of this image is our judge, correct? Yes. The person on the right is another judge you don't like, right? Yes. Okay. What is the legal objection? Cutter Bunny, you missed that the 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 plaintiffs in this case, the opposition to Alex Jones, submitted an image that he released on his fucking website an image that they found on his phone in which the judge in this case was depicted as being burned on fire. Literally a burning effigy of the judge which they found on his phone. 401, 403. Can I see it, please? Yes, yes you may, Your Honor. This is it. This is where they show it to you. There you go. He shit. Okay, everybody. Okay. That is, I am, I am, I can't even fucking believe. I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. Did we stumble into the good timeline? Apparently so. The moment of the judge seeing this fucking childish bullshit. Oh my fucking God. That's what he told you. That's what that says. And that's, that's not what it does. So this, I, 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 I have a question about it. So. Okay. Can we go up to the... Yeah, hey, Mr. Jones? Did you respond with a question? I don't know. No, no, let's, um, let's... Did you respond to the question? I don't know. Yeah, I fucking love that he's like, you guys can't see it because of my camera. Here, uh, you can't see it, but I just want you to, I just want you to watch him pounding his fingers all of a sudden. He's like nervously tapping his fingers. This is like, this is like a Richard Nixon. Y you guys ever noticed that like, you remember when Richard Nixon, um, would, he would always like rub his hands together whenever he was in trouble. So there's like videos of him getting exposed and you can see like Richard Nixon, like rubbing his hands together straight fucking up it's the same shit he's like doing all of the richard nixon shit oh my god it's so good remember i don't mean live you fools 
I assume some of you have watched, like, shit that's relevant to American history. Oh my fucking god. This shows some of the totals per day. Shut the fuck up! You people, I didn't mean literally, like, when it was live. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, right? Yes. Okay. And so this is something Mr. Fruit I would send you from time to time. Right? Yes. Okay. Alright, you can take that down one second. I think it's clear, would you agree with me, to everyone in this courtroom, that the statement that you only get 20% or 40% profit margin on food was not true. No, I can, I can bring those numbers in here and show you that. Well, I asked you for those numbers. I asked you for those numbers and I didn't get them. And instead, now I have this text message that says something- Oh no! He also lied! He also lied about the profits he's making on food! And they confirmed it with the same texts! Dude, he's so fucked! That's a fourth way he's fucked! Oh my god! He's so fucked! Totally different. Do you think, in those circumstances, anyone should believe a word you say? I'm confused by that because uh, that's 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 not the marginal, and I wish that was the marginal. Hmm. I'm gonna show you what's in Mark Plain. It's 134. It's more messages, Mr. Fruge, isn't it? Oh no! Not only is there just one text, he can't even play it off like it's a fluke. They found multiple statements. Oh my fucking god! <gasps> This dude's so fucked. Yeah, these were our best oh, numbers God. ever. Remember this? This was during CPAC. Uh, I'd like to move 134 into evidence this time. Any objection? I don't see the relevance, Your Honor, frankly. Uh, the food I processing will, numbers in 2020. I will make that connection very quickly. But if you want to see what I would like or discuss it at bench, I can. Um, so the only objection is relevance that Mr. Jones has recognized it. So I will overrule the objection and admit plaintiffs exhibit 134. Get that one. Oh, you couldn't get that one. Once again, notice, notice that the judge said that because Alex commented on it and the lawyer didn't object earlier, they're going to get to continue with this line of questioning. This dude is literally fucking himself at every single step. Every step of this is him and his lawyer fucking up. <laughs> Alex Jones on why he didn't do so good in court. Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> in that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Before you do that, one of the things that I think we've heard a lot of in this courtroom is how you've lost millions, lost everything. And the deplatforming, all of it, has, has caused you to lose everything, right? You've heard that? Not everything. Indeed. Can we bring up this level, Melissa? Shouldn't have said that, bro. You shouldn't have said that. You should not have said they haven't gotten everything. That was another mistake. Now they know you have money. Now, we've seen some revenue numbers. You remember that? And now... Uh, Oh my god, they're gonna fuck him! They're gonna take him for all he's worth! He sent his fucking revenues in texts and they can see it all! Holy shit, he's ruined! Plaintiff's Exhibit 35 that you testified about, do you remember that? Yes. Okay, and in those revenue figures you would agree with me that generally, generally speaking, between 2016 and 2018, InfoWars was making somewhere between $100 and $2,000 a day in sales. Yes. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's hear that again. I'm sorry. I got to hear that again real quick. One second, one second, one second. This was making 
generally speaking, between 2016 and 2018, InfoWars was making somewhere between $100 and $2,000 a day in sales. Yes. Okay. $102,000 in sales per day. Is that... Holy fuck. Somewhere between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars per day. I don't think it's a hundred and two I don't think it's between one hundred dollars and two thousand. I think it's between I think it's between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars is what was that that was. Fun. Well that okay, one one hundred and two thousand dollars. No, like, yes. I think what this means is one hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. Hold on, let's see. Hold on. We can get clarification. Hold on, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna try and find clarification. I gotta get this. Hold on. see yes 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 nope it was correct here's the here's the quotation alex jones raked in 165 million over three years selling the food stuff so that was from that was from earlier this year that was already revealed yes the amount was 100 to 200 thousand dollars per day between those times that was that was a that was just it was our, it was it was confusing speak uh the way he said it was confusing, but that's the numbers. The slot buckets. That's what they were making from the slot buckets. 800. Yeah. Let's listen. And we see here. That's tens of millions yearly. Yes. He was making tens of millions of dollars. Off of just this. But that's not always true, is it? That some days you're making 800,000, 700. Whoa! 800,000 a day at times? That's eight times as much as he claimed! So he was claiming between 100 and 200,000 where his text messages prove that it was $800,000 a day. And this guy has been claiming he's broke, that he has no money. So either this guy has been spending his money like, like 10 Nicholas fucking cages, or He's, or he's li- oh my, oh my god, or he's lying in every other case that he's been in. He is so fucked. There are gonna be cases that he got off on that are gonna be able to be reopened with this information. Oh my god. $45,000 a day, right? Yeah, you, you guys cherry picked- Wait, and that means the IRS might get involved. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> If he was lying to the IRS, the IRS is gonna get this motherfucker too. Alright, Mr. Jones, so what I'm saying is, well after your deplatforming, your numbers kept getting better. You kept having better days. No, no, it, it's it's deplatforming gone down. This this was uh, lose everything, right? That was that? weird. Not everything. Indeed. Oh, wait, it went it back. Almost... Now, we've seen some revenue numbers. You remember that in uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35 that you testified about? You remember that? Yes. Okay. And in those revenue figures, you would agree with me that generally, generally speaking, between 2016 and 2018... Yeah, that's weird. What happened? Did I fuck something up? Oh, no, I think it was an error on their side. I think this is on the odd... I think this is on the side of the, uh, of the courthouse. Forwards was making... Somewhere between $102,000 a day in sales. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's better for and me, we too. we see here that that's not always true, is it? That some days you're making... Holy shit. These are... They found, like, multiple days in a row where this guy was pulling in $800,000. Almost a million dollars a day. $800,000, $745,000 a day. Do you think he's going to be on suicide watch? If Alex Jones is not on suicide watch right now, his lawyers are, uh, his, then the opposition lawyers are fucking, uh, are fucking 
uh, failing. This guy better be on. This guy's got to be on fucking the the. Uh, they gotta get. They gotta make sure he's not on whatever team was watching Epstein. All right. Yeah, you you guys cherry picked the best numbers we ever had. These, the, the, I'm not trying to remember this. All right, Mr. Jones. So what I'm saying is, well after your deplatforming, your numbers kept getting better. You kept having better days. Oh no! He just accused them of cherry picking, but they deliberately picked stuff. After his deplatforming from YouTube, oh, he's so fucked. He's so fucking fucked. This dude no, is screwed. No, his his deplatforming just gone down. This, this was a, uh, this was a uh, CPAC. I remember now because I remember these these numbers. Oh, now you remember them all of a sudden. Sure, but you know the problem is, Mr. Jones, I have the very limited years of revenue that you've provided, but I don't have anything else, do I, from you on that? Not until this, right? You guys have been given the gross numbers that they're accurate. Okay, Mr. Johnson. $800,000 a day, if you cut that pace up, which I don't know what you did the rest of the year, I don't have it. Well, that's one day out of here. I'm asking you, Mr. Jones, please let me finish my question. Can you do that for him? You need to respond verbally so she understands. Yes. She type it down. Thank you, Mr. Jones. If you're able to keep up that pace for the rest of that year, you're able to launch more of these specials and sales, and you can keep going at $800,000 a day, that would come up to an average of something like $300 million in a year. That's about right? Gross, yes. Three hundred million. Okay, okay, hold on. We just gotta take a breather here for one second to remember, okay? This guy is making three hundred million dollars a year personally while provably lying about Sandy Hook while provably lying about COVID. And this guy's fucking rolling in the dough. If you, if there is any if you need anything to convince you that the right wing is bankrolled to shit by the stupidest and richest people in the world, this right here is the fucking rock solid evidence. This dude's making more than 300 fucking million dollars a year to peddle blatant lies. And also, of course, let's not forget the other things he talks about on his show anti-LGBT, anti-fucking, uh, anti-fucking black people, anti-fucking immigrant. This dude right here, get this guy, seeing this guy, nothing that he is going to be, uh, be, uh, uh, nothing that he is going to be charged with, nothing that he is going to have to pay can ever make up for the amount of horrific, heinous shit he has put into the world. Just so you all know, nothing will, will match with that. It's funny, 300 million and still can't afford a good lawyer. It's really funny. Did you know that in other cases he was trying to represent himself? As in basically other law, like he, he was very involved in the process um, of, of like trying to get himself involved in the legal process. It's literally his own stupidity, arrogance and, comp and, and incompetence. He could have gotten the best lawyers around. Or maybe he could because they wouldn't take the case. But what he got was this guy. And then I think we saw your revenues from 20... So we saw a few months of 2015 on the beginning of that document, right? Do you remember that document you, you relied on and testified about? Plaintiff's Exhibit 35? I mean, I saw it, yes. Okay. Not a couple of months from 2015 on it. Oh, that is a, yes, this, wait, 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 wait. Was this from this year? Is that from this year? This is from 2019. This is an old one. Uh, I heard about this. Yeah, this is the article. Hold on. This is the article right here. Lawyers files sent by Alex Jones contain child porn. This is from 2019. Um, and yes, this did actually happen. This is a real thing that happened. 
Um, it was just, it was, they claimed that it was, um, they claimed that it was because of a malware attack. No, it's okay. It's old news. Uh, it's still sus as shit, but they claimed it was because of a malware attack. So it didn't, it didn't hit him. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of sales. But, you know, given how much this guy's, this guy lies, remember what the lawyer said? Why should anyone believe you about anything? So maybe... Maybe, just maybe, he was lying about that, too. On that, right? I believe so. Okay. So we're mainly just talking about 2016, 2018. Right? You remember that? 165 million. You remember testifying? Yes. Okay. And I know you testified about your profit margins, but I think we've, we've seen that now. That, that you were saying that that's gross. So that maybe doesn't, you'd have to calculate what your profit is. Right? Mm -hmm. But after I'm seeing, sorry, I need a yes or no. Yes. But after seeing all of that, all of those millions and millions and millions, hundreds of millions, are you aware that your attorney has argued that this? Right now? Oh, can we, can we get that on? Um, we're going to get that on repeat real quick. I just want you to see. Watch him take that nice, big, deep breath after he realizes his attorney probably- <laughs> Look at this! I'm sorry! I need this! I need it! I need this! <laughs> Fucking fear! This. Are you aware- are you aware that your attorney has also argued, Oh shit! This is what you should pay for the damages that your company admits under oath through your corporate representative at cost. Were you aware of that, Bella? Were you aware? His lawyer said they should pay one dollar? His fucking lawyer said that he should pay one dollar to the Sandy Hook victims? What a fucking rotten piece of shit. You ever, you ever, you ever think this lawyer, you ever think this lawyer might, uh, might just, I can't tell if this lawyer is like secretly the biggest Alex Jones hater ever. Uh, uh like, like a fucking, like, I don't know, like a fucking better call Saul, like fucking fraud lawyer. Or, or if this guy is just bad at his job. Holy fuck. I thought we were, um, do you agree with it? Do I agree with it? A dollar. Is that... We done? I'll pay it for you. Are we done? What does the New York Times do for lying about WMDs? What? What does the New York Times do for lying about WMDs? Bro! Bro, they should be in fucking prison too, by the way. Just so you know. Nice whataboutism, you fucking slob. I don't think there's any point in asking you any more questions. Okay. Alright, Mr. Reno. Me? Yes. Wait. chat for a second watch this lawyer's face watch this fucking lawyer's face oh my god watch him he's like you fucked up bitch it's your fault you this is on you bitch I also i just want to i just want to make it clear this lawyer's career is fucking set this is going to be america's fucking richest lawyer in like two days Oh, okay, okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait, is this guy for real? Oh, no, sorry. Hold on. Is this guy actually, like, trying to do... Is he actually trying to do, like, a Saul Goodman cosplay? He's literally... He's, like, literally doing a Saul Goodman cosplay. Is this a joke? Is this, like... 
are, have we entered into the, 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 like, the fucking... Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. It really just doesn't get fucking better than this, does it? By the way, this is the one. Uh, this is the one we're gonna turn into an emote. This has to be. This is the one I grabbed, and it's the one I gotta fucking do as an emote. Don't you worry. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You can- Oh my god. Imps! Imps! Is this not? Are you not entertained? Are you not? Do you not feel amazing? Doesn't it feel good to see the worst people in the world pay justice? Oh. oh. Holy shit. All right, we got it. There's more. If you can believe it, there's fucking more. It's happened so far. All right, you may be. All right. So this is where the lawyer, the lawyer says, uh, says we gotta go. We gotta take a. Can I ask for a break? Finally. <laughs> so this is where they go on a break, and we're gonna jump ahead to the later part of it. Cartoons. That so we have now we have we have skipped the break, and and because we don't need a break, we don't take a fucking break here. We're gonna keep going. Obviously, let's go. It were deemed offensive to some members of the Muslim faith, an issue that later in 2015 escalated with the slaying of 12 employees of Charlie Hebdo, stated, a civil society means that free expression trumps the emotions of anyone to whom free expression might be inconvenient. What are your thoughts on this statement? Um, so I don't think the, we can come back to it, but think about that. I don't think I can ask this question because I don't understand it. It says, what true you were looking from Sandy Hook tragedy? Here's the part where he comes back in. Sorry, I, I needed to jump further ahead. They were taking questions from uh, I don't know who they were taking questions from. This is when he comes back in. Jones, what happens now is a little different. I'm going to read some questions to you, and you. This is where the judge is going to ask questions of 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 Alex Jones. Answer them. Okay. You need to answer the question exactly as it's presented. Nothing extra. If you don't understand it, you tell me that, okay? Okay. There is a theory called mass shooting contagion that posits the effect media has on inspiring future mass casualty events from coverage of previous events. Are the media that report on these events accountable for any damages that occur from their reporting? This study. Let's hear that question again. Sorry, I missed the question because I was uh, typing it. Images that occur from their reporting. Question was, are people responsible for damage? Uh, are journalists and people who are reporting on the news, are they responsible for misinformation and damages that occur from bad reporting? The studies do show that hyping up shootings causes more shootings. And talking about the shooters does that. And I, I think that all, all the media contributes to, to, to copycats, but they have a First Amendment right, and it's just part of the world we so live I in. So I want to just ask you to answer the question. Are the media that report on these events accountable for any damages that occur from their reporting? No. Okay. If no... Why doesn't free speech systems capitalize on the opportunity to act better than the, quote, mainstream media, unquote, by not asserting information recklessly in their reporting? And why does it not attempt to minimize harm from their reporting? I agree. I've, I've learned a lot more about mass shootings now, and that's why we had one one hundredth the coverage of Uvalde we would normally have. And uh, I think that was even too much. But you've got to still report something happened, but statistically it's terrible what happens, but it's very small compared to, say, automobile accidents. So I, I, mean, I think we should report on what the big death numbers are, like famine worldwide, 60-plus million have died just the last three years. All right. So Thank I, you, Mr. Jones. 
Why do you think Sandy Hook was a conspiracy? Because I had seen so many other things in history that would be classified that had been staged or completely made up. Uh, that when you're a hammer, everything starts looking like a nail. And I saw really powerful forces politicize it and blame gun owners. And so I guess this is a conscious level. I felt offended and I knew I was innocent and that I hadn't done what Adam Lanza did. So I think we subconsciously didn't want to believe it because it was being blamed collectively on gun owners. And that's in retrospect years later when I realized that I, I did used to go overboard and, and believe everything was staged or almost everything. Uh, and so it's definitely been a learning process uh, in uh, dealing with that. That's that. I mean, that's why. I Remember, remember, he hasn't learned fucking shit. At the, just a few minutes ago, the opposition lawyer showed evidence that he that not only right now do they have do they have an article up that claims that that the that COVID is a hoax and that uh, that specific hospitals were engaging in a COVID hoax, but also he ignored people directly calling out how wrong it was. So. Fucking full of shit. Fucking full of shit. I thought it was stages. There were people out there that brought up things that sounded credible. And I'd seen so much stuff that was, uh, you know, seen so much stuff that. Uh, Sorry. Thank you. You're just uh, mm. going back over what you're doing. Yes. Are you going to change the way you present your news and comments on your show based on what is happening today? Yes, I'm going to do one of my best because I've never been like the corporate media that lies on purpose. Uh, but we've definitely made big mistakes, and it's been terrible for everybody involved, and, uh, including myself. And so I really do want to. Yeah, I'm sure you're the one who suffered the most. Piece of shit, still being a piece of shit. Try to change uh, things and uh, hopefully be a more positive force when it comes to issues like mass shootings. Oh, real quick, by the way, uh, uh, Emu Anon says, I wonder if Nerd Roddick will delete his videos that feature him on his podcast. Uh, if you if you are a fan of a podcast that has episodes uh, featuring positive coverage of Alex Jones, if you're a fan of a TV show that has positive coverage featuring Alex Jones, any of that shit, you should fucking write them about that. And you should send them, you could send them this fucking segment if you want. You can send them this fucking video. But yes, people should absolutely hold to the flames the feet of anybody who helped this motherfucker do the shit that he's done. Everyone, if you have a fucking show that you know, fucking hold those motherfuckers to the fire. Seriously. Oh my God, for real? Holy shit. Oh, I'm hearing there's some great memes out of this segment. So we got to keep going. employees have appreciated your ability to tell the truth and how you allow them to express their own creativity and individual personalities. In light of their obvious loyalty, would you take personal responsibility for their actions and decisions while at work for free speech systems and info wars? I mean, I think at the end of the day, I, I mean, I do, I am responsible for what they do. Thank you. If you are genuinely sorry and regretful about how your words caused harm to grieving parents, how do you plan to show rather than just tell that you are sorry? Would you? You, for instance, join and promote Ms. Lewis's Choose Love movement to help make our world a better place for our children. Absolutely, regardless of how this goes. I would love to invite her on the show in person uh, next week. I would invite uh, her and uh, Neil, I think she's a great person. I apologize to you legitimately. I would love to invite you guys on the show regardless. She can actually come meet the people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please, come come on the show that has spent the last, like, ten years shitting on you and ruining your life. Please, come on our show so that our fans can see your face and redouble their harassment. What a fucking piece of shit. What a fucking... What? What a stupid move, too. To be like, yeah, you can come on my show where I make $300 million a day. Or, or sorry, $300,000 a day. Fuck this guy. People come on, and I think it'll be huge for everybody to see that. And I want that, I, I'm more concerned about that than I'm even monetary stuff. Um, and because I do not want to be the Sandy Hook guy, and, and I hey. want to... Oh, oh, really? Wow. 
Yeah, Doe, Doe, Doe was this morning. I woke up and I was like, Doe, your hair's gone. And Doe was like, Yeah, I wanted to cut it again so we could so I could start over. I'm like, Hell yeah! All right, looks good, looks cute to me. Anyway, back to the mind. That, that, that what's been misrepresented is not. Oh well, uh, welcome from Korea, Nico Pico. Hope you're doing well. Who I am, but that I have done some things that are wrong, and I didn't do it on purpose, and I apologize, and I want to make it better because. So, okay. Going forward, would you consider providing better training to your employees about how to be sensitive to individuals involved in a tragic event while still taking the stands? <laughs> oh my God! I hope so. Oh please, please let us get. I need, I need to see the Infowars sensitivity training. Please, God, let me see. I need, I need, I. God, I know I'm a demon, and I've pledged myself to fight you in the war against heaven, but please, please, let me see. Just, I'll, I'll do anything. Let me see the Infowars sensitivity training, for the love of God, please. Oh, my God. Government or globalist agendas? Yes, absolutely. And, and we, we've been trying to do that, and... I was planning to shut down Infowars six years ago when I got married, I promised my wife. I love the crew, I'm sick of this, and then I got stuck in this fight with the system and everything else that's going on, and okay. now, now I'm going to continue InfoWars to make it even better, and because other people have said they want to use this case to shut right, me down. you, again, don't tell us anything about anyone else has said. I Dude can't even stop. He can't even stop shilling his crap now. That is hearsay, disregard any hearsay. And I want you just to really, just answer the question. Yes. Nothing else. As a person wary about and questioning the authenticity of clipped videos, how much precaution do you plan to take with the clipped videos presented on your own show? We take way more precaution now than even mainstream media because our- Dude. Oh my God, they fucking nailed him. Oh my god, they're getting them. If we put something out. Look, keep in mind, this is really good too. Because this has this means that if he doesn't do it, he's on he's on the record in a court of law under oath, attesting that he will not that he will he will no longer dishonestly clip people. Dude, he's so fucked. There's no there's no coming back from this. There's no it's fucking fake. coming back. And it, it it has been a long time since we did that. Hey, good to see you, Ace. Ace, happy you, happy everything worked out. I'm glad you're back. And thank you, Miss Nibiru. Appreciate that a lot. Three weeks ago, and I rarely smashed up, but I did smash up my office, and because it pissed me off so bad that we aired a uh, what do you call those uh, deep fake video? They're so good now that I, I just I would declare I've developed an allergy to this stuff. Like I don't want to be wrong. And I don't want to try to lie like the corporate media does on purpose. And we did air one uh, about the CEO of Pfizer who does enough bad stuff on his own without us putting it. We didn't do it. It looked so good on Twitter that we put a fake video out. All right. Thank you. The defense has testified InfoWars mentioned Sandy Hook less than half. He knows that didn't land. He knows that didn't land at all. He knows he just admitted. He just admitted to fucking putting out misinformation again while he's on trial for disinformation. In fucking incredible. ...percent of the time. Is it your stance that there should be no punishment for breaking the law as long as it is done only on rare occasions? Uh, uh, okay, can you read that again, please? Yes, I can. The defense has testified InfoWars mentioned Sandy Hook less than half a percent of the time. Is it your stance that there should be no punishment for breaking the law as long as it's done only on rare occasions. Well, they're saying that he one of the one of the defense's arguments was that they barely ever mentioned Sandy Hook. And so what they're asking is, do you really think that that's like a good defense that oh, we didn't break we didn't break the law that much? Yeah, they, this is a this is a this is a I think this is a good question because it puts him in a position. Yeah. This is this is civil, but there is a law of right and wrong, and we have paid a massive price for the mistakes we made. Okay, Mr. Jones. Yes, read it again, please. Is it your stance that there should be no punishment for breaking the law as long as it's done? 
Oh my fucking God, I can't. Is there a higher quality of this? Oh, it's maximum at 720. Oh. Only on rare occasions. Yes or no? Let's, uh, well, let's get stopped. No, I don't Ah, oh, dude, it's a simple answer, bro. Your lawyer's... Dude, his lawyer's probably, well, okay, I think his lawyer's probably asleep because his lawyer does not seem to be very responsive. But bro, he's, you don't stumble over the answer of is it okay to break the law when you're testifying in court? You say, dude, no. No, you never break the law. Never fucking break the law. Even when people do stuff on accident, I think they're still somewhat culpable. Uh, but I did not do this consciously. No, Mr. Jones, right. that's not the question. Uh -huh. What is your definition of blue collar? I'm talking about people who I think are great, who are working so hard that they don't have time to be involved in the weird esoteric bubbles uh, of the liberals or the conservatives or anybody. I can't even keep track of what the liberals are doing or the conservatives, the libertarians or the or the transhumanists. So and, your definition of blue collar is people who work so hard they can't follow all these things you're saying? Uh, what is your definition of blue collar? My definition of blue collar is the working man and woman who keep their head down and keep the whole world running and, and, and in my experience generally are not even paying attention to politics. Where did you get the idea that jury are all blue collar? I mean, I've seen statistically, uh, I read we, we, in news articles in Austin that a lot of times it's... It, it's okay, don't, don't tell us what you've read, remember? What did I hear? No. What did I think? Yeah, it's a bad question. Where did you get the idea? Because if you if the if the place you got the idea is from someone else, then you can't tell us that. So it, it's a tricky question for me to ask you. Well, sometimes you write a bad question. There, I roasted the judge. Now you can't say I'm being one-sided. The judge goofed up there. Whoops. I'll agree with that. Uh, is the judge also allowed to ask questions? I'm not familiar with legal stuff. This is a civil case, so the judge is allowed to ask questions because this is not a criminal case. Normally, and yes, judges are allowed to ask clarifying questions, but they're usually not allowed to do this type of cross-examination, if I remember correctly, unless it's a civil case. Which um, it is. Okay. What compensation would you believe to be appropriate? What compensation do I think appropriate? Dis ah. You guys, listen closely to this one. I heard a clip of this one earlier. Fucking listen to this shit. What compensation do I think appropriate? Despite these numbers that were presented the best week we ever had, that's when COVID was starting, and there was a run on storable food nationwide, uh, and so they... Mr. Jones. No, but I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, we don't... Well, what compensation would you believe to be appropriate? It doesn't really matter about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I must have these. I need to remember these. I understand, but, but I can answer the question however I wish. I'm not barred from talking about where, where we're at financially. No, you are at this stage. Right now, the question is what compensation would be appropriate? Any compensation above $2 million will sink us and we'll, not, not, we'll no, be no, shut no, down. No, appropriate, not to you. <clears throat> Appropriate for what happened to them. I mean, I mean. Dude. Bro. Fucking shit. Oh, thank you for the clarification. Hellhound, uh, uh, thank you. So, uh, Hellhound, who has some relative experience with courtrooms. Judges can do whatever they want in their courtroom. Don't see why they couldn't ask questions in a criminal case. Oh, sorry. I thought they were, I thought they were limited in criminal cases. Okay, then. There you go. I've been clar cl corrected live. Thank you very much. Judges can ask questions. Hell yeah. Didn't know that. Uh, but also, uh, to pay, t t let's just, so we can hear him say this again. He's asked what he thinks would be fair uh, rare, fair restitution to those he's harmed, and he said, well, best I can do is two million. Any compensation above two million dollars will sink us and we'll, not, be, not, we'll no, be shut no, down. No, appropriate, not to you. <clears throat> appropriate for what happened to them. I mean, I mean, I think it's appropriate for whatever, whatever uh, you decide you want to do. Okay. And because I'm, I'm really, uh, 
That's a great answer. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever you find appropriate, ma'am. Oh my Have God. Have you ever made the distinction while live on air to your viewers that you are speaking as a pundit and not as a journalist? Thousands and thousands of times, but this is my opinion. You should research what I'm saying. All this stuff we're covering is other people's opinions. You need to look into this. When I'm really sure about something, I'll be definitive about it sometimes, and I'm usually... Uh, best I can do is uh, 350. Right. Uh, but we constantly, I mean, this is talk radio on TV. We constantly explain these are people's opinions, these are debates, these are ideas. We, we, in fact, I even used to play an intro that said the, the views expressed here aren't necessarily those of the host, the guests, the callers, or the station. It's a standard thing. Are you aware that this jury consists of 16 intelligent, fair-minded citizens who are not being improperly influenced in any way? Yes, I don't think that you are operatives. I don't think that you are part of a false flag. I don't think that uh, you are bad people. I think you're good people. And I just am very, very critical about the whole process that I've been through so far where I've given, I believe, everything over. And then I'm always told we didn't, even though we're seeing it. And so that's why I'm really concerned, uh, because a lot has been misrepresented. This guy literally cannot answer a simple question. If I, if I was in his position, I would not be doing any of this talking. It would be simple yes or no answers with nothing else. He is potentially incriminating himself more and more. The more he says, the more, the deeper in shit he gets. This is the worst thing he could do here. Wandered off the question. Okay. Do, no, you, do you feel you're getting a fair trial? And if not, why not? But I'm barred from saying. Succinctly, please. I have been found guilty. I have been found guilty by a judge, and I thought in America you're we found guilty by juries or innocent. There's no guilty or innocent. found guilty by a judge and I thought in America you're found guilty by juries or innocent. There's no guilty or innocence in civil court. I understand. It's liable or not. Not well, guilty. So please don't use the you're not a lawyer, that's fine. Okay, well I've been found liable. I love I love the sassy head motions. He's losing it. He's falling apart. Oh. There's no guilty or innocence in civil. <laughs> I understand. I can't. I just can't. There's too many. Or not. You're not well, guilty. So please don't use the. You're not a lawyer. That's fine. Okay, well, I've been found liable. Okay, so by a judge. And. and, and in all the other cases coming up, I've already been found. So this is a dangerous new system we're setting up. And if people want to get rid of that and get rid of America, it's okay. I understand we're an old republic. Maybe time for us to go. Oh, my God! What a, what a fucking bitch! And, and, and in all the other cases coming up, I've already been found. So this is a dangerous new system we're setting up. And if people want to get rid of that and get rid of America, it's okay. I understand we're an old republic, maybe time for us to go, okay? But how, you, how many employees does InfoWars have currently? We've got about 80 workers and contractors, and well, about 80. <laughs> what was the... Well, you know, so I've been so I've been proven of committing of committing perjury. So uh so I lied four hundred times. You wanna destroy America, is that what it is? You wanna destroy America literally? You wanna rip the goblin I mean, you wanna send goblins into America? That's what you want? You really you really want me to do that? Are you fucking kidding me? The annual revenue of InfoWars in the most recent fiscal year. I don't have that number in front of me, but it was I would imagine 60, 70 million. Those have been our biggest years, or 60 or 70 million gross. And 
So if, if the question is, how much money am I making? No. The question is, what was the annual revenue of InfoWars in the most recent fiscal year? But I think you said you don't know. Do you know or not? I, 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 I um, it is like $70 million right around there. What are some specific changes you've made? should have just stuck with I don't know. Now, if he li if if he lied about that, that's just another point in which he lied. This guy, for how much bullshit this guy has been in, he really is a fucking dumbass. This just goes to show you that like uh people like Alex Jones are so fucking arrogant, they literally can't stop fucking themselves over. To your business processes to increase oversight and accountability at InfoWars. I mean, I, I think uh, I've explained to people we're not just some little internet show, and I'm telling myself this when I'm telling them that, that you need to really pay attention to what you're doing because everything you say is going to get looked at and zoomed in on. And even if you didn't mean it for harm, it can be turned around for harm. So you need to really realize you have power including when you blatantly lie in court multiple times and are busted on it. Like the Spider-Man thing with great power comes great responsibility. And I <laughs> no! <laughs> he did not just, he did not just quote fucking Spider-Man! No! I can't, I can't, I, I can't do it anymore! I fucking, he fucking did his fucking Uncle Ben! Fucking Squid Games! Oh my god! Oh, with great, with great power. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I can't, I have to pee. I have to take a break. Oh my God, I have to pee. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, hold on. I need to make sure that was not a bladder induced fucking hallucination, was it? Okay, okay. That was not a, a fucking, you, that was not a bladder induced hallucination. He literally did cite Uncle fucking Ben. I mean, I, I think uh, I've explained to people we're not just some little internet show, and I'm telling myself this when I'm telling them that, that you need to really pay attention to what you're doing because everything you say is going to get looked at and zoomed in on, and even if you didn't mean it for harm, it can be turned around for harm. So you need to really realize you have power. It's like the Spider-Man thing with great power comes great responsibility, and I definitely have. Un underestimated how powerful uh, Infowars was because I'm always thinking of myself as small, and 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 and, and you know, and then I'm really. It actually happened. I didn't just imagine it because I had that. to go to the bathroom so bad. J fucking, fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. You literally, you literally cannot. You you just cannot make it any better than this. It doesn't get any better. That's four or five years how big we are. Thank you, Mr. Jones. I appreciate your time and testimony. You may return to council. Thank you. Dedriac, thank you for that. Uh, I'm, I, 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 I hope that you'll be able to provide that to any, uh, any uh, engineers and machinists who are thinking about potentially working for Lockheed Martin. Please, I, I know there's other options, but I hope maybe you can help guide them. Thank you for, thank you for coming into chat. Welcome to the, welcome to the chat. All right, Mr. Randall, thank you have another witness. I do not, Your Honor. So defense rests. Yes, Your Honor. Plaintiff, rest of those? Yes, sir. Plaintiff, rest of those? Yes, sir. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that concludes the evidence in this case. It is now necessary for the attorneys and myself to spend some time preparing the charge for submission to you. I'm not able to know in advance exactly how long it will take. It generally takes longer than we think. Uh, we have been working on it in the evenings and on breaks, but we do still have more work to do. It's 1230. I'm going to try to get it done over lunch. Um, your lunch is waiting for you. So I'm not going to give you an end time, 
we'll try to be back um, in an hour, hour and a half. So you know, don't wait to eat. Uh, but you're going to be on recess until now, uh, until I bring you back. Please remember, the evidence is concluded, but you have not yet been sent to deliberate. This means you may not yet discuss the case. And as always, you still may not do any research into anything about the case. So go and enjoy your lunch, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. All right. So. Let us find out. This I don't know because I actually started streaming about the time that this was going down. So let's find out. Let's find out if there was any further. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see if I can find this. Part two. Day seven, part two. Okay, here we go. Evidence or by circumstantial evidence or both. A fact is established by direct evidence when proved by documentary evidence or by witnesses who saw the act done or heard the word. I don't know if this is the right spot. Hold on. I got to find I got to find out if we got the ruling. Hold on. Let's find out. This is this is this is me doing live research everybody. Let's find out. Let's see. Hold on. Let's find out. anybody has a link if there is if there is uh if anybody has a link to it i would really really like that if anybody's got it okay i gotta find out let's see this is the right, so this was part this is the whole thing huh Is the ruling tomorrow? Yeah, it may be that the ruling is tomorrow. Let's find out. Two hours ago. Ah, here we go. This is the latest one. They began deliberations, so the ruling is not yet complete. We don't know for sure, but they have begun deliberations. Let's see, I'm going to try to get to the bottom to see if they've got an estimate. Free speech systems declared bankruptcy last week. Oh, they know. Oh, they already know they're fucked. Judge Gamble admonished Jones on Tuesday for not telling truth under oath after he falsely told the jury he was bankrupt and had complied with the request for information. Holy shit, he did it multiple times. So yeah, it looks like we have to wait for the final conclusion on this, everybody. I know, it sucks to have to wait, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I am waiting alongside you, and we will we will get an update. Won't we? We'll get an update, and that means we get some bonus fun in the coming days. Huh? We don't get to know for now. Holy shit. What a fucking wild ride. Okay, so, so, hold on a second. Yeah, that means we get a part two, where we get to see what actually happens when he, when the ruling comes through. They're trying to tie it up until bankruptcy proceedings. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I don't think it's going to work. Also, even if he doesn't have any money, the dude just committed perjury fucking in under... He just fucking committed perjury live on air. We just watched him. How many screenshots? A lot. I got a lot. This dude is so utterly fucked. Here, I want to see if we can get it. Can we get a full... Let me see here real quick. Let me see if I can get an article. There's the deliberations from four hours ago. Let's see what the New York Times has to say about it. Let's see what his enemy, the New York Times. Let's take a look. Oh, I didn't even know this! In another broadcast, InfoWars falsely linked the judge to pedophilia and human trafficking. In another, Mr. Jones questioned the intelligence of the jurors of the case, implying that his political enemies had handpicked blue-collar people who don't know what planet they're on, and were ill-equipped to decide what monetary damages he must pay Ms. Lewis and Mr. Hels Heslin. 
In written questions submitted to jur Mr. Jones, jurors took immediate issue with that. That's where those questions came from. It was because he did a broadcast where he called them fucking stupid assholes. In closing remarks on Wednesday, Mr. Jones' lawyer said he was prepared to pay a single dollar to Miss Lewis and Mr. Heslin for each of the eight defamation claims. Oh, he is so fucked. He has eight claims in this case? There are fucking eight claims in this case? Oh my fucking god. I have no fucking clue what, what perjury in this type of case would look like. Uh, let's see. Uh... Let's take a look. A person convicted of perjury under federal law may face up to five years in prison, uh, in prison and fines per charge. Punishment for perjury under state law varies from state to state, but perjury is a felony and carries a possible prison sentence of at least of minimum one year plus fines and probation. Ooh. So the, hold on, real quick, real quick. Let's take a look at this, okay? Hold on, let's take a look at what this is. All right, here's the four, this is, this is from the fucking uh, office of, this is from the US Department of Justice. Here's what they consider, uh, uh, to get, consider perjury. The elements of perjury are one, that the declarant took an oath to testify truthfully. We know that's true, he was under oath. He willfully made a false statement contrary to that oath. That's going to be up to the jury to decide. I can't make that decision, but, you know, you can come to your own conclusions. I think it's fairly clear what happened today. Three, the declarant believed the statement to be untrue. Well, keep in mind the, um, uh, uh keep in mind that, that he, exp he explicitly, he explicitly contradicted himself and, and also revealed that he was not telling the truth. And four, the statement related to a material fact. Also, that meets the criteria. Bruh, bruh. I think uh, I think Alex Jones might be what we call in the business a uh, giga fucked. I think he might be completely fucked. Holy shit. Boy. We just can we just review real quick? Can we just review some of the some of the greatest faces that we pulled from this one? I'm sorry, this is just so good. Here we go here. Let's get a couple of these up here. Ready? There we go. There's number one. Let's go to the next one. There's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number six. <laughs> oh, this one goofed up. Damn it. That one goofed up. Aw, oh, sucks. Still, we got a couple. Yeah, do you think do you think he'll go Oh, is this the defense closing argument? Oh, oh sick. Oh, we didn't get to see this part. Ooh. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do it. This is from, this is from, oh, this is from today. I didn't see this part. Let's take a look. This sounds great. There was a Lutheran minister no. named Martin Nemoer. No, no, he's not going to do it. In the 1930s. And he was imprisoned in a concentration. And when he got out, he reflected on the fact that he had stood quiet. And he said, first they came for the communists. And I said, I'm not a communist, and didn't do anything. Then they came for the trade unionists. And I said, I'm not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews. And I said, 
I'm not a Jew. And when they came for me, there was no one left. It's been an honor to talk to you, to present our side. I look forward to addressing you again on the issue of punitive damages. I have a lot to say about what the right number is. And I look forward to that opportunity. Thank you. All right. Um, I think we probably need another very short break. Remember all of my instructions. Let's try to keep it to 10 minutes, please. Think that do you think that sold well? Think that fucking sold well to the audience? This lawyer. How did they find this fucking lawyer? Yeah, yeah, he's on brain force. Do you think do you think do you think Alex Jones is paying the lawyer in fucking brain force supplement supplements and that's why he's struggling so hard? Dude's been having stroke after stroke. That's it. Just back to back. That explains it. His lawyer was having chain strokes from the brain force pills. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. That's so bad. It's so bad. Oh. I am, I am, I am just fucking floored by this. Shit. Oh, Alex Jones. So, yeah, Alex Jones is, 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 uh, Alex Jones is fucked, guys. Because Alex Jones is fucked. Okay? Let's just... Let's just say that, okay? And did I not fucking deliver for you today? Did I not tell you that us watching the highlights together was going to be just a blessing? Mwah. Just wonderful. And guess what? Now we get to find out. We get to find out what he gets hit for. Just keep in mind. Just remember, as we wrap out this particular segment and we enter into another also very fun but very different segment, just remember, there is no pit in hell deep enough for this motherfucker. Alex Jones has built an empire of disinformation, has personally enriched himself and his lying buddies, people who have pushed anti-gay, uh, uh, fucking literal conspiracy theories about shootings that involve the death of children, attacked directly the families of those children who were killed. Literally, Alex Jones went on, t on a rants accusing them of being liars while they were still grieving for their kids. There is not a pit in hell deep enough to be justice for a motherfucker like Alex Jones. But we might get to see at least a little bit of justice. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And at the very least, we got to enjoy him getting clapped on live TV, which he will never fucking live down. This trial is going to be memes about him for fucking ever. I don't think Joe Rogan is going to say shit about this. I think Joe Rogan is a total coward. He'll stand by and let him and, and be happy to have made money off of Alex Jones while he could. And then he'll be like, duh, I don't know. I didn't know I'm just a dummy. I'm just a UFC guy. Same thing, same defense that Alex Jones does, but we'll never, but I don't think Rogan is stupid enough. I don't, believe it or not, I don't think Rogan is stupid enough to fuck up in the same way Alex Jones did. He should, he should be held to the fire for the disinformation he puts out, but he won't. Yeah, a lot of people learn to shut the fuck up today. But here's the thing. The thing you have to understand about people like Alex Jones is they're too arrogant to ever shut the fuck up. Alex Jones thinks he's invincible. Alex Jones has a fucking God complex of an unbelievable proportions. Just, just fucking bigger than you can imagine. You cannot imagine being that blind to consequence because... Because it can only come from somebody who spent the last 15 years getting their pockets filled by, the, by every rich conservative on the fucking planet. Yep. And now you'll see the rats jump away. All of them, all of the rats are going to start jumping off. They're going to be out of there. Alex Jones is done. 
We'll see Alex Jones. I'll be, I'd be surprised. See, the funny thing is Alex Jones doesn't even have the goodwill that somebody like Milo Yiannopoulos has. Milo Yiannopoulos can go be a, uh, can go be a fucking, uh, Christian, you know, uh, a Christian fucking salesman. He can go do Christian, uh, whatever it's fucking called, CGTV or whatever. QVC, yeah, QVC. Why did I say C, what did I say? CTV? What did I fucking say? CGTV fucking QVC. Yeah. Fucking Christian QVC salesman. HG. What am I? I my brain. Shut up. You're right. I got, I got the wrong one. Okay. Milo would probably be funny on, on HGTV. Okay. That's probably true. 